once we have successfully logged in, chosen the correct region, and then chosen the pre-built AMI, we can go ahead and prepare our instance. There will be a number of selections that we'll have to go through. And again, Amazon has recently updated its interface, so our website doesn't exactly match what we'll be seeing, but I'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide. We'll have to select things such as instance type, and Amazon provides a nice example and an explainer guide of the different instance types. And so depending on your needs, you can select different instance types. For this tutorial, we select using something from the C5 category, specifically the C5.4x large, and this is for compute optimized instances. So again, I will soon provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to choose your instance. We will need to add appropriate storage. Um, the default is eight gigabytes, and we are going to increase that to 60. We will also need to select an appropriate security group, and I will step you through that as well. And then there will also be a way to launch. So I'm going to go back to the management console now and step you through how to launch an instance. We'll go ahead and call this tutorial example. You do have to choose um, an AMI. And so we are going to browse and we are going to select this first one here. And as I mentioned, there's different instant types. We're going to go look for the C5.4x large, which has 16 uh, vCPUs and 32 gigabits of memory. Again, this is not on the free tier, so you will have to pay for this instance type. The next is the key pair or login. You'll need something called a PEM file. If you have a pre-existing one, you can click here and there's usually a drop down with different ones you can choose from. If not, you can click this create a new pair and it will allow you to create a new PEM file. Since I already have a key pair file, I'm going to go ahead and select my key pair. You then have your network settings. And in addition to clicking allow SSH traffic, you are also going to go and click allow HTTP traffic. And we'll be switching anywhere to my IP. And again, I mentioned we'll need to configure the storage. The default is eight, but we recommend 60 in order to run all three cases in an end-to-end -end fashion. And then you can see a summary of your information listed here. Once you verified that everything is correct, you can go ahead and click Launch Instance. And this will be launching an instance based on our DTC version 4.1.0 of the AMI. Once it's successfully launched, you can see it says success. You can click on this, and then it will navigate you to your EC2 management console. And you can see that your instance is up and running.